Hello Virgo, what's up? Welcome back to your reading at the Alyssa Illuminator. So let's see what are the messages for my dear Virgo sun, moon and rising. What do you need to hear? There will be an extended and it will be about their feelings, their actions and intentions towards you Virgo. So you can find the link in the description box below. What is going on for my dear Virgo? All right, we are starting with the Page of Swords reversed with the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Swords. So it looks like you, you caught someone lying or you found out that someone was trying to, like maybe they were gossiping about you or they were trying to get some information about you in, in a negative way. All right, and I feel like you cut this person off. You kind of like walked away from this individual. You have the King of Wands. This could be a fire sign coming into your life. You have the Sun reversed. Leo, Sag, or a... I'm hearing also Pisces for some of you, but that might not be the case. Or an Aries. Let's see. Where are we going from this point on? See, look at that, the Seven of Swords reverse. You caught someone, definitely. Either you caught this person lying or cheating or checking up on your phone. They were just kind of like scrolling through your phone or um, whatever it is. It was, what's the word? Oh my God, I forgot what the word is. Like against morality. I don't know how to word it. Like god tell me what is it what is it and then we have the queen of cups in the reversed we have the knight of cups and the world card okay whomever that person is that you caught either cheating or doing something behind your back that was deceitful or that that had like a bad intention. Let me just put it that way. Whomever this is, they had a ill intention and you emotionally are going to be snapping on this individual. And I feel like they are going to be trying to make things right. They're going to come forward with like an emotional offer or an exchange of emotions and feelings. But I feel like for you, it's like, mm, it, at the end, you're going to close this whole cycle off. You're going, just going to be like, okay, I've learned about it. I'm not going to repeat the same cycle again. I am completely, you know, cutting this energy off because it's not making you feel happy. You feel a little bit bogged down or you feel like this person is not really, you know, being being positive or optimistic towards you. So you, you get the feeling that this person is just triggering you a lot and at the present moment you have a lot of doubts already you have with the seven of cups you're still emotionally overwhelmed like okay how is this going to go should i stay or should i go like i don't know and i feel like at the end you're going to make a final decision that this person is a little bit is going to stay in 2022 like you're not going to be wanting to bring them into 2023 that's what i'm picking up on Let's uh, clarify that with Clipper. Despair. Look, <laughs> this person, wow, put you in despair. That's really what I'm getting through here. Like, like I said, you feel lonely. You feel abandoned in the situation. You feel a little bit lost. Like emotionally, you're not feeling hurt. And I feel like maybe the, the Knight of Cups could be also new energy coming in. Main female. Like this is you really feeling in the dark. All right. And Judication. You feel judged by this individual. You feel like this person, you know, put you through the ringer. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Virgo, but I feel like whomever is going to come in here with the Knight of Cups has way more to offer to you. But the thing is, you have to start all over. That's, that's what, something that you may not want to do. Surrender to the divine. 
So go a little bit with the flow. Don't try to force anything with this individual. Don't, you know, let them flow in your life, but let them also flow out of your life. Like be cool, be calm with every step that they take. Tell me more about this person or where the situation is going. Like, I feel like you made the right decision here in the past to walk away. However, you know, it comes back around. It could be like a trauma release. Like something comes back around and it makes you feel in that despair because the sun is in the reverse and the seven of swords is in the reverse. It's like someone's confession or someone's betrayal that you find out later on just puts you even more in the dark. As in like, okay, how did I miss that? And sometimes that happens and it causes for post-traumatic uh, feelings. And we have to go through that trauma again. We don't always get to know everything that we need to know while we're in the situation. Sometimes we get to know it while we're outside of the situation and it brings a lot of dark energies with it. Insecurities with it, exactly. Impartiality and balance. So both of them is talking about needing to be a clear judge and not, not um, giving yourself short here in the situation. Like do what is right, balance everything out, see if this is a fair situation for you to be involved in and judge it accordingly without being too emotional because emotionally you might be getting all over the place and when, when our emotions are all over the place, we don't always make the best decisions for ourselves. So be mindful of that energy here with the Queen of Cups being in the reverse. Let's see. Peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out peacefully. So eventually there is definitely going to be peace. And you, that is the most important one. You need to be at peace with the decisions and not allow anyone to judge you for walking away or wanting to get out of a dark situation because sometimes emotional manipulation could definitely happen. And spirit is telling you like, if you feel at peace, like you need to be at peace. That's the first thing that is important. Even if you are in a conflict or you're not speaking to someone or whatever, work on that emotional trauma release within the heart space so you don't feel at, you know, sometimes we feel not at ease, right? Like we feel that unrestless, uh, like restless, sorry, restless energy uh, coming in and we're afraid and we're going to make mistakes or we're going to, you know, lose that person. But that's why spirit is saying like, go with the flow of the situation. Like if someone wants to walk out of your life, let them go. If they want to come in, you know, be open to receiving them and ask, you know, be open to hear what they have to say and and make sure that you see whether someone is making the changes that are necessary or that you have already pointed out in the past. And if that is a no and you see that this person does not have any intention to make these uh, changes in their life, even though they're promising to make, you already know. We have fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Again, look at that, the card of, oh, so sorry. Oh my God, that was the most exciting delivery, the delivery of my gemstone for my crystal. So I am so excited. Whew, I need to calm down my exi uh, excitement because I've been waiting for this batch for such a long time so if you are interested i have already the promos out in the description box on the website illustilluminate.com crystal jewelry shop oh my god i'm so excited thank you thank you for bringing this to me virgo <laughs> so we have fertility and a get clear so it's time for you to get clear on what it is that you want to do write things down perhaps this has to do with your long-term plans or short-term plans but also in regards to your feelings and emotions i feel like this is a very sensitive emotional energy as well saying like get clear like is this what you really want is this how you want to proceed forward uh, be open and honest with yourself by writing things down and really work on you know 
high vibration, all right? Really clear your energy, your aura, and really work on high vibrational love to attract or to be in or um, to create that peaceful energy around you, all right? And again, we have that flow energy coming through, which I already talked about. You know, if someone comes into your, into your life, allow them to flow in. If they want to move out, allow them to flow out. All right, let's see. Last but not least. Enter the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectations or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect your miracle. So there is definitely a situation that is not what it's supposed to be. All right. I can see that with the peace card that wants to come through you wanting to step out of that dark energy or the dark hole, uh, the sun in the reverse, which is also talking about, you know, not feeling optimistic enough and seven of swords here as well, talking about someone's deception coming to light and that is going to cause you for some type of an emotional roller coaster but you will definitely be stepping outside of it all right but you have to be a little bit disciplined the, the world card is saturn it's all about restrictions discipline getting things organized getting responsible and doing the hard work all right because it's the last bit you know when we are at the end of of a cycle and it's heavy it's even it could be even a task and you're just feeling so exhausted but you know that if you just continue for you know a little bit and you wrap it up you never have to look back at it again it's just like okay now it's completely over but when we are at the last stop we just feel so heavy in the energy and we almost there to kind of like give up, but we're not. And I know that you're not giving up. I, I don't want to give you the, the preaching of like, do not give up. Uh, I feel like I did that for Gemini. So if you do have Gemini in your chart and you do feel like you are in that energy, make sure to watch that reading. But yeah, you're definitely not giving up. You're trying to search for solutions to get out of it and to feel protected and at peace. But okay. That's what I have for you. Oh my God, look at that. I, I'm, I'm just seeing beloved of Isis, spirit of Isis, and I have to read it for you. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired actions until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest. No matter how bold or impossible it seems, let her inspire you and believe. Like, I was just talking about that but anyway that is what i have for you virgo i uh, hope that you like this reading with a real thumbs up and if you want to continue on the extended the link will be down in the description box below this video and i catch you guys there ciao